plastic here and we were a little bit bored inside today so we have decided to make some slime using things you can find around the house all right everyone are we ready let's go okay everyone welcome to the kitchen now if you're at home and you're like em i want to make slime too but i don't have an activator guess what neither do i we are going to make old school slime going back to the original slime which is purely water and corn flour now i actually think this slime is so much more fun to play with it's a little less gooey uh but it's got a really fun texture so you're going to need a bowl to put your slime in you're going to need something to stir your slime with you are going to need something to put some water in and you are going to need whatever colors you would like to make your slime today i'm going to try and make purple all right and of course you're going to need some corn flour now the first thing you need to do is get your container of corn flour open it up ah, look at that doesn't smell the best <laughs> okay you're gonna put in a pile we're not gonna have exact measurements here, everybody. We are just making the slime. All right, I'm putting in like a pile. You know what, I'm gonna add more. Woohoo! Yeah, that'll do. Let's start with that. Okay, now that you've got your pile, you're not going to add the water straight away. Um, because I found out the hard way you need to mix your color first. So we're gonna go fill up the cup with water. Not to the top, probably like a cup worth. I'm back with the cup of water. All right, now you are going to make, put this aside. We're going to make our color first. So I'm gonna add red. <laughs> now don't spill this on yourself. You might need a grown up's help for this bit. And I, whoa, I might need a grown up's help for this bit. All right, <laughs> I think I put some on the table. Oh yeah, I did. If you get any on the bench, you want to wrap it off straight away. <laughs> it's on my hand. So here's a handy dandy wipe I prepared earlier, and I'm just gonna wipe at the bench. You! No stains here for us. So make sure you put something uh, under your under the bench. <laughs> All right. So um, as you can see, I have made red. But I want purple. I'm gonna put that to the side. Purple. So we need to add a tiny bit of blue, and this is where it gets tricky because I need like a tiny bit of blue, otherwise it's gonna go like real dark. All right, let's see what happens. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. I just want a drop. <gasps> There's so much more than a drop in there. <laughs> She's a dark blue. It's like, whoa, real, I don't know. Maybe we might be right. We might be right. We'll soon find out. <laughs> so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your, your bowl back and you're gonna slowly add in some of your water that's now colored. If you add the coloring last, it's too hard to like mix into the mixture. All right, so we're gonna add in Try not to spill it all over the place. Ooh, gosh, it's a weird color. Okay, and then you just, oh, look at that. It's gone like Elsa. Oh, she's like crusty almost. Oh, wow, it's working. It's actually quite a, a blue purple, you know? Once you've added a little bit, you're gonna start to mix it. Now, what you don't get on yourself, you might need an apron for this um, and you're gonna start to mix it now the when you first put the water in it's gonna be really hard to mix it's gonna become quite powdery but you want to mix it in slowly so that um, you don't get too much water oh, that's cool okay I definitely need more water I'm gonna get quite a bit more water Ooh. Wow. you don't spill it anywhere Oh, it's like a really dark purple. Oh, it's so hard to mix. Now when you're mixing, it is gonna be hard to mix, so don't like flick it everywhere, just take it really slowly. Because corn flour 
has the ability to be like really powdery and tough and then really runny like slime. So you want to make sure you're mixing it really slowly so that you don't accidentally flick corn power, corn power, <laughs> corn powder and um, water and food coloring. Oh, like that. Making sure that you're trying to do it really so as if you can see it's coming along. Oh my goodness. It's interesting. Some of it's gone blue and some of it's purple. How funny. All right, so just mix in and mix in and mix in and mix in and mix in. I reckon I've got enough water, to be honest. Whoa! Guys, this is cool. This is really cool. All right, make sure it's all mixed in. Now, warning. Sometimes I think when you touch food colouring, your hands get stained. So if you don't want to have blue hands for a couple of days or whatever colour you're making yours, um, put gloves on. Oh, this is cool. You see this? Look. Oh, slimy. Woo. <laughs> so it looks slimy, right? Look at that. That's cool. But you can actually also roll it into a ball. So if I get a whole chunk, pull it up in my hands. Ah! Oh, as you can see, I can I can roll it into a ball. Look. Trying to get all over the bench. Oh jeez. Roll, roll, roll. Look at that. It's in a full ball. And then when I let it go, it's slimy. Guys, this is the most fun. You can like break it apart and it's powdery. Look at that. Oh. Or you can let it become super slimy. And then you can just like squeeze it and play with it. Roll it up. Oh. Wow. Oh, geez. <laughs> it is going to get super messy. So make sure you are in a place where the floor is probably not carpet. Um, maybe not even floorboards. Tiles are probably best. Or you're like leaning over a table, or you're in the kitchen like me. Look at that. <laughs> Honestly, this is the most fun. I could do this for hours. Oh! <laughs> Be really careful not to put it all over yourself. As I said before, you're probably going to need, you know, an apron. In hindsight, I should have put on an apron. But that's all right, because I'm I've got my cool pinafore on, so that's fine. I can I can wash that. Oh wow. Oh, it's just so much fun. Oh, the texture is awesome. And my colour actually came out pretty alright. Now when you're picking it up, that's when it's gonna flick everywhere. So just be careful as you pick it up. Um because it's quite tough. You'll feel when you make yours, I'm getting this everywhere. You'll feel when you make yours, or when you go to pick it up, it's because it's kind of powdery as well. It's like powdery slime. It's slimy, but powdery all at the same time. Um, so when you pick it up, it'll it'll be quite powdery and the next minute it'll just flick all over you. Oh, I lost some to the floor. I should probably clean that up in a minute. Look at this. Oy! <laughs> oh my goodness. And everyone, this is now hours of fun while you're at home hanging out with your family making slime. Have fun with your slime, everyone, and I'll see you soon for more fun at home with them. Bye.